All right, so this match is about to begin. Looks like they're about to roll. And the old him player with the nine wins the dice roll. And we will see what he elects to do. Not so clear cut here what to do. Interesting, we have a heart of ice here. Huh. I'm still having trouble with getting into the game. Um, do you see the game? Is the first is the first I do you see the game? You do see the game. Yeah. Let me the, issue password. the password. I don't know, check your caps lock. Um, are you friends with uh, Nathan on Steam? You can have him. Uh, is the first letter him. capitalized? There is no first letter. It's it's four characters. Oh, I, I keep putting in the the first part. <laughs> no. <laughs> it is just okay. Yeah, there you go. That all makes right. way more all right. sense. All right. Okay, we got there. We got there. All good. We're here, okay, boys. so looks, so it looks like uh, old him elected to have Nathan go first. Not a bad idea with AB two. Um, is he really playing Heart of Ice just for the AB? Um, yes, I believe so. So Nathan plays a couple of uh, non attacks, makes an embodiment arsenal pass. Uh oh, and a turn one sigil. sigil. That is a pretty good start from old him. That's huge. It's pretty big. Um, I mean Nathan also just making an uh embodiment uh, of lightning and passing is pretty, pretty good as well. Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, he doesn't give his opponent a chance to mulligan, although he did have a sigil, so he got the mulligan a card. Uh, Endless Winter here coming across. Not fused, but still pretty annoying. Um, whenever they activate an ability, so in this case, that would be the Wraths of the Arc Knight or the Rosetta Thorn. Although, if he swings the Rosetta Thorn, he gets a Frostbite and then goes away at the end of the turn, so it actually doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Nope, it's not. Gorganian Tome here, so he's going to want to play an attack here, and then a non-attack, and then an attack here. To not double up on these uh, Lightning Tokens. I think with his new... With the new changes he did, I think he should have something that just attacks here normally. So we have the Seek Horizon here with Go again from the embodiment for Go again. So here we're very likely to see some Crown of Seeds, Rampart of the Ram's Head type of shenanigans here. So the Rampart of the Ram's Head is quite 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 good against the uh, fire it's not as good as against chain but it's still very good because if the combat chain is ever broken that rampart is going to go back to the equipment zone and then when it comes out it's going to defend for two so we have a vigor rush here very interesting card choices rebirth gonna make an embodiment Just and just like that, that's going to break the chain. Yep. 
Which means uh, resetting the ram's heart. Yep. So it can block for two this time. Yep. Yeah, he'll block two, but he'll. He's gonna leak one damage here. The arcane damage. Yeah. Pretty good though. Um, he basically turned the frost fang into a four block in mixed damage. Winter's Veil coming across, threatening a frostbite token here. And we get an early pitch of the Pulse of Eisenloft, so that's going to come around. Yep, it's, it's going it's to go to the bottom and eventually come around. Um, hmm. He has a three block non-attack, he could just block it here cleanly. He alternatively could use his armor here, but he basically only has one one uh, turn to negate it. Looks like he's gonna do that. Hmm. Alright, so every winter's whale from now on is gonna be pretty uh devastating pretty tough to block. <laughs> yeah. So we have a charge tunic, five card hand, and an embodiment of lightning already on the field. This should be a giant turn here. Yeah, he has the blue pitch. Oh. Yep. He's also got a so the three ticks on tunic. So so something here is like, if your deck is not a heavy blue pitch deck, and you hesitate on what to pitch it means you have two blue pitches 99 percent of the time unless you're make that three blue pitches yep, <laughs> <laughs> yep. so uh all right so we have a looks like we have a uh an evergreen which is one of the anti-fatigue cards you know evergreen for seven here with goad unit Mm, is it seven? It's it's more or, than or seven. Ten, ten. Excuse me, ten. Seven plus the three for the yep. Earth Lord Circle. A red staunch is a very very efficient block here. Um, negating almost all the damage here. The Rosetta Thorn coming up at the end here is probably just going to get two cards here. The name of the game for old him here is to defend life preservation. Yeah. So it's going to be blocking the physical, taking the arcane. Okay. Interesting. You know, we still got a lot of game left. Mm hmm. He probably wants to hold two cards to try to attack. Yeah. Not yeah, bad. Ice card to attack with hammer, and then, nope. I mean, nope. Looks like a. That's good too, I guess. Looks like an, looks like an oak and old. But without fuse, this is just vanilla damage, right? It is vanilla damage. Yeah. But seven is still. It it is efficient. Seven. Yeah. Yeah. Seven for three. Is. Yep. Really considering just taking the seven. Yep, and there it goes. Yep. Not looking too good. So no arsenal card means no crown of seeds. We have a flash into a seek horizon. A very uh, new approach to this matchup, let's just say. I personally I really like Flash. Ooh, when it when it first got spoiled, I, th I, I thought it was really good. Interesting. Alright, so decision time. So mm -hmm. with the tunic, it's one card plus tunic or just one card. The chances of Nathan having another blue is kinda slim, I guess, because he had three blues in the last turn. Hmm. Is that a 
He's giving up the razor. Re razor plus the, uh, the tunic. tunic. Okay. So this is going to demand a block here. A little bit more damage leaking through. And then pitching a, rab a rabble for Rosetta hitting for two and two. Mm -hmm. That arsenal card is somewhat likely to be Channel Mount Heroic now. They didn't have a blue earth card, so if he drew it, he's just holding on to it. Um, another oak and another old. vanilla oak and old. So I don't know if dealing seven damage here is worth taking some damage and not having crown of seeds. Like, I feel like you kind of want to save those oak and olds for later. You know, pitch it, weave it in between. Yeah, and, you, know, you ice card. Yeah, if to... you pitch this next to the pulse of Eisenloft, oh, then that'd be that's... pretty good. <laughs> but the the main thing here is I'm seeing two conflicting strategies here. I'm seeing Like, old him attacking the health total of Briar. And I'm also seeing him defending a lot, trying... To, like, it, it could be he's running a little bit more of an aggressive list. But with AB2, that, that doesn't feel likely. So, I mean... Yeah, it's, it's his, his strategies are conflicting. Because he's yeah. trying to do damage while also having a mm -hmm. defensive armor package. And the Crown of Steeds wants to be activated like 15 20 times a game and we've seen him activate it i don't think you've used it at all zero times yeah if, if i'm correct yeah it like, hasn't been it, used yeah like <laughs> it, um, i think it would have been better off as just as just uh ab on the on the helmet and then have the two block tectonic for the we, see a, yeah. we say yeah we see a second blizzard coming in here hmm. this i think is a really nice combo he goes flash into an and line strike to draw a card. Mm -hmm. Gets hit with the blizzard. I think he didn't That's pay for blizzard it, did number two. I think he's debating right now. Otherwise, it just ends his turn. Oh, I guess. Yep, looks like he's not paying for it. Guess. All right. I guess what he drew wasn't very strong for him to. Yep. He he probably was just gonna go I, for Arguably a... it could be very strong in that it's two red cards. So he's like, okay, well. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, two red cards, or maybe it's yeah. a earth and a channel. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is actually he just a naked um yep. naked hammer, no frostbite. Just, We're yep, just, just playing aggro old and Yep. Uh the, the the window of time for Briar to get a Channel Mount Heroic out is closing here. So that's a blue earth card. And yep, as there I thought, is. yep, he sandbagged that two turns ago, as I predicted. Yep. Um, and now, does he have the attacks to follow it up? So judging judging by what he just kept last He turn, missed right? his tunic trigger as well. Ah, um, it's going to hurt him. Uh, yeah, but judging by what he kept last turn, he probably just has two red attacks, right? At least two. Mm hmm. Try to get advantage of this trigger, or okay, one of those so cards. He strikes, or one of those cards were the autumn's uh, touch, and he didn't want to mm. lose his blue source. That could be it. So this is eight. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's the thought that I was thinking. Eight with no go earlier. again here. So we're gonna see snaps here if he has um, anything. He's, he here. just has to. He's so he's kind of far behind now. Are they, they... But if he can put old him back on the defense, but leak damage through, he might be able to get the momentum back. And that's yellow, so three. So it's gonna be rab rabble for six. Not bad. I mean, it still demands a two card block. So here, here's an interesting point here is yeah as old like you might have wanted to take the damage here yeah and crack back with spinal 
he's really far ahead in life so he might oh i guess we're just gonna block out but at, at this point he can afford to soak in a little bit of damage especially since there's no on hit triggers yep if you sent the spinal crush at the opponent they'd have to block which means the mount Herok stays out one turn so right now he he's letting mount Herok stay out for two turns let's see if he misses his tunic trigger again he did not oh, he's got Good it job. uh all right, with Mount Hurok out and five let's, cards, let's this see if is, he, has, uh, he blindly draws two Earths. Oh, that's the... seven go again. Pretty good. Closing up on the life totals a little now, even though oh, after the, the third uh, blizzard's the coming out, third blizzard. This is getting paid for almost certainly here. Like, even if you have three red cards in hand, this is still getting That's Earth card number one. That actually might have helped him in order to try to... <laughs> if he has a second Earth, that that Blizzard, paying for the Blizzard, might mm -hmm. help him keep the channel mount for an extra turn. No, he would He would just make in uh, a rune chant hmm. with, the, with the same two. Well, okay. I feel like you... So we're seeing a crown activation. You would have to do that anyway. Yes, but it's still... It's a it's a damage on his side of the board mm -hmm. versus paying two for an opponent's ability. Okay. Seven against five there, so two damage leaking through. Yeah, Captain's as long as he call. gets damage through with every few attacks. Oh, yep. This kind of sees actually was blocking. Two He's doing there. Captain's Call for plus two. Yep. Yellow Rebel on a Yellow Rebel. So <clears throat> three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yellow on yellow, actually. <laughs> if that's an Earth card in hand, this is about to get very, very ugly for Oldham. Yeah, it'd be really good because he gets to make a rune chant and swing the... the uh... and, and, and that's what I was saying. Is like it, If you didn't make him pay the two then he wouldn't have had the outs in order to pay a second card because mm -hmm. rune champ plus sword swing all right we, he didn't have it didn't matter <laughs> still two and two coming on here so that's going to be four damage leaking through mount her goes away so well he would definitely wanted to arsenal the razor reflex if possible Right, because he's he would still be able to. Well, the, the razor there represented four damage instead of three. Here's what I'm saying: like since he's he's yeah. ending his turn here with no arsenal, with the extra mm -hmm. two, he could have still swung with the the thorn if he didn't blizzard. Mm -hmm. Who do you think is uh in the lead right now? Honestly, I feel like it's it's right down the middle at this point. I I think I think Briar actually is in the lead right now. Uh. Because Odom is just blocking out every attack. Now he's falling back on the defense where he can't really be aggressive anymore. And he lost that early life that really put, gave him the advantage. Because mm -hmm. eventually, eventually Nathan will draw another Channel Mount Heroic and be able to produce the same amount of result or like same results. Feels like we're playing limited all over again, huh? <laughs> yeah, it does. Just squeaking damage through. So this is five vanilla here. So it feels like that last card could be a uh, Mount Heroic. Although he, he did play a blue earth card, so the chance of that is kind of lower. Yeah, I agree. He did play a blue earth card, so Ooh, I doubt he would do it, because with those three cards right there, mm -hmm. he could have played Channel My Heroic, kept it on the board, and attacked for seven. Mm. So. Mm -hmm. 
Well, now, now Odom is threatening a frostbite, which isn't super scary. Briar is pretty low at this point. I don't think she, I don't think Briar's low enough. Depending on, I mean, he he's gonna have a five card hand here, right? So that sigil. Well, life enough. difference here is quite a bit, though. It being at nine was actually kind of okay, but now with the extra three, it's gonna make it much more difficult because that's that's essentially another attack. Mm -hmm. So, using four energy here to play Tome of Harvest, drawing three. Resetting the hand and uh, yep. hopefully drawing into some gas. I like this. He's also got the tunic counter. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, that's yep. powerful. Exactly. That's pretty good. E strike for eight. Go again. Draw a card. Sounds pretty good. No more blizzards. So this is basically going to have to be throw your cards in front of it. out the ram's head here and a staunch walking for eight here pretty good oh, solid solid block on the odom side um let's hope we got another yellow ravel yep so this is gonna be ooh, six gogan Finally, a red card on top for him to get the, <laughs> the full full, full boost. Uh, four pa uh, yeah. What's this? Um, six? Huh? So if he blocks with two cards here, that means at least four damage is coming through here. At least four damage is coming through with the, with the sword. So it's taking three here. Okay. Either way, oh, he God. That's that is brutal. Snatch for seven. Oh boy, I told him to put that snatch back in there. <laughs> <laughs> yep. This is this is a one of the things that makes wide decks so hard to deal with. Is Alden was looking at his hand. He's like, "All right, I if I." I could be efficient by blocking like this. But then he throws a curveball at the end saying, nope, snatch at the end. And the chance that this is a good card is very, very, very high. I mean, it being any we red card. Where the arsenals, like, it's, it's still really good. Yeah, second, uh, the third channel, my heroic. I feel like playing the Channel Lake Frigid last turn would have been better, or this turn would have been better, right? Take three more damage, play Channel Lake Frigid this turn. Oh, most definitely. If if he's keeping the Channel Mount Heroic on board, yeah, you need to start taxing everything. Like you're you're taking way more than three damage by not taxing his yeah. whole turn. Exactly. Did he have enough uh, damage for it, or is that free? I don't remember. Uh, Channel Lake Frigid costs three, so he could have. I mean, he blocked with a blue. He, so he, he could blocked have... with the blue. Oh, the thing is, maybe he didn't have an ice blue. Hmm, that could have been the case. That could have been the case. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, because we've seen him pitch two 
Channel like frigids already. So that's... No, he he didn't he did not have an ice blue. Yep, yep. So yeah, that... cranial crust, an endless winter, uh -huh. and a staunch um staunch response. Yeah, so that that makes a lot more sense there. Yep. Hmm. I don't know what Nathan's hand is, but honestly, I would just I just take it. But if he has a bunch of <laughs> the skull cap block indicates he says I'm not gonna be below you in life anymore. Very true. Can he keep channel Mount Heroic for one turn longer? I don't think he needs to. This no. turn is likely he to need to. He doesn't need yeah. to, but if you can do it, yeah. that's just like mm. almost solidify the game at that point. I mean, that's yep. the first. That's the first Earth card. So we're seeing the Rune Chant created first to keep the chain together here, to yep. prevent the Rampart from being used efficiently here. Mm -hmm. Seek Horizon putting a card on top. Give it a go again. Seven with one Arcane flying in him. So here we're likely to see a blue Crown of Seeds activation, Rampart activation. Yeah. Yep, Crown of Seeds activation here. I swear, if that last card is a blue earth to pitch for the second channel Mount Heroic for next turn. <laughs> That's how you do it. And that's Nathan special. It is. <laughs> So the crown of seeds blocking the uh, arcane damage here. I'm oh, um, a bit concerned. Why the? Why is the crown of? Oh, he pitched a arcane block. Okay, so the crown of seeds. Plus the crater fist plus the ram's head is four. So he takes three, drops to nine. Activating defensive ultim, oh. making him put a card on top. Ooh. I think that's. That is a little bit of a hitch. That was a good play by him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Very well timed. Now, if the ultim has like. Two blues and um, Final Crush or something could be very turn the tide very quick. Man and Conqueror. That is not threatening that much. I mean, he has an embodiment. On... It depends if the card in his arsenal is channel mount. <laughs> mm -hmm. If it is, I think you just have to play for the next turn cycle. The thing is, we're dropping very low here, which is a little bit of a concern here. This full block here. Hmm. Two blue earth cards. Mm -hmm. Tunic trigger. Oh, okay. It was evergreen. <laughs> <laughs> That's two minutes of tunic trigger. We got to get on it. <laughs> this is why I enlarge all my dice when I play on TTS. You notice I use gigantic, fairly gigantic dice. Obnoxious dice. Yeah. I use obnoxious dice in real life. Yep. If I have a decent attacking hand here, I think it's, 
Is this another red staunch? Mm. Huh. So, Queen. what do you think about three red staunch responses against an unknown briar? Did he did he just know that it was going to be a Channel Mount Heroic deck? Because staunch like... response is not that good against the lightning version, which is still legal. My thought process behind briar is I think that the hybrid Channel Mount Heroic build is probably hands down the best build personally mm -hmm. I, I, I kind of agree with that sentiment because and that's even it can go wide changes it goes wide it goes tall it, it, it does both where lightning just kind of goes wide but not very tall Jeez. Two Nolrin against Briar is fine. I, I I just iffy about the two the the two null runes being the chess piece. I think the if you're gonna play two, it has to be the the head piece and the in the legs. That way you can keep uh tectonic planning. Like the activated ability of Heart of Ice is not it's not relevant ever happening, yeah. Like it, also if, if you want to keep crowd of seeds, you could just Play no rune gloves since the tectonic plating is strictly not strictly but in almost every situation better than the crater fist so. right clean blocks here from old him it's putting the advantage bar the advantage bar is definitely tilted in the uh, old him's favor here he has a, he has some tempo and he has a life lead here. There's still one more Channel Mount Huruk, though. So Nathan's deck is uh, at 25. So yeah, he's likely to I see, think it. see This is our third command. That sounds about right. Yeah. Locking with Channel Mount Rook. That Impulse seems Candle. very odd. So I guess he has a razor or some other way to close out the game. Like that doesn't. Maybe maybe, maybe... two cards were are two blocks. So I, they're probably two blocks. He has to keep the pressure up. Or how, how can the Arsenal card be more important than Channel Mount Rook, though? That's the question for me. It's true. Huh. Breast lightning. I, it, it could also be that he doesn't want to take any more damage because he was already so low. Mm hmm I don't know. Because I feel like that was the out to victory, right? Is you drop down to maybe one or two health and then crack back with Mount Heroic keeping tempo. Well, I mean that's also very dangerous against against uh, Guardian because at any point they could pull out like a like an eight or nine attack with Dominate, you know. Hmm. Odom only has one card with Dominate. Is it endless? Is that Dominate? Oak and Old fused. Well, oh. technically two. We're already seeing two Oak and Olds. Um, the other one is like the Ice um, card that fuses with an Ice. Uh, to give itself dominant. It's like a common.
activating. Interesting. Hmm. Another he just has he just has extra energy, I guess. I mean, <laughs> you can't even play defense reactions against this. So it's, it's I guess the last one wasn't last. Huh? Third one. I guess he pitched it. I, I could potentially see the activation of Hard Vice on other cards, but not commanding. I think he just had extra energy. He's like, well, I mean, that's probably it. Yeah. Right, but like, one for energy doesn't crush, bluff anything. Well, for Spinal Crush, mm -hmm. it's it is it's a five attack, so you mm -hmm. will have the extra floating energy. Where if you do have a arsenal defense reaction, that would well, that would that be a case. Defense reactions cost one, right? Yes, yeah, it does. Not against CNC, but yeah, oh, not against sure. CNC. So. <laughs> so I guess I'm not. I'm having trouble seeing a path to victory for Nathan right now. With AB two and no channel Mount Rooks, I. I don't know. What is this Arsenal card? It's shout out to my brother. I'm playing fifth. <laughs> I am. I have not played yet. Another evergreen. <laughs> of course it is. Yep. I think he's going for the loop. I don't think that's enough. The reverse fatigue. <laughs> that is. That is not enough because Evergreen has to be played from Arsenal. <sighs> so, one path to victory here could be multiple Razor Reflexes. But, I mean, Nathan would have to check the sink below, staunch response, and fate per scene. And this is the third oak and old. What's the deck count at now? It's 22 to 19. Huh. Huh. That is actually way closer than I thought it would be. So, they, they're pretty neck and neck. Huh. They're, they're both pitching a lot of cards. Right. Did he? He didn't fuse his Oak and Old, did he? He didn't have no. a single Oak and Old. He's just They're sending just vanilla seven. He's sending a. I don't know if that's the play. I feel like you want to you want to fuse this card. Yeah. Especially this late in the game. The first one I can see you going naked, fine. But like maybe the, where they the, are now. The pulse of uh, Eisenloft should be coming around soon. So if he sat that in Arsenal, he could he could uh, keep a blue plus pulse. Well, I don't know. There's a good chance that that the pulse is going to come up on his next cycle right here. Yep. It feels like we've basically gone through the deck once. Neither player has shuffled their deck. No. So they should actually have perfect information right now if they are. Uh, I, it's not realistic to ask for perfect information here, but they, in theory, they have perfect information here. Or very soon they will have perfect information. Little we know, Nathan's a genius. He remembers everything. <laughs> Coming up on Triple Razor Reflex right here. Yep. I think multiple Razor Reflexes is, is how he gets the victory here. I With all three Mount Heroics gone, uh, I yeah, don't know how then... you punch through 12 damage. His opponent having three red staunches gone, I believe. I think three was already played. This is a very dangerous life total here, and it's very likely that he could keep every card here. Okay, so Probably. this is uh, six and then two and two. So literally, he could keep his whole hand if he wants. And a five card old him, like if he if he has a 
hand that attacks. Yeah, I, I think he can actually just hold his whole hand here. I think he could probably hold his whole hand, throw just the fist in front of it. Yep. I mean, he doesn't even have to do that. He doesn't have he to. Could literally, he could literally just drop the one here. Yeah, Nathan doesn't have any tricks. Everything, Everything's on the board. Mm -hmm. Okay. Looks like he's get has an extra blue card. And so that's a block for six here. We got six. Any nope. sink here? No sink. And then just Rosetta for two and two. Yep, this is just going to get a card plus the remaining energy. Which is good. That means he doesn't have like a huge attack coming out. If, if he's the blocking. Spring Tunic does not break the combat chain here. I think that's what they were wondering about. Yeah, because it's an instant, I believe. Yep. yep. Yeah. You can use Tunic while it's in the block, too, if three counters. Yep, that's pretty correct. good. So he's taking two here. Oh, it's a chain. And, and this is the uh, part of the game where if you don't present lethal and your opponent has a hand that can win, Ooh. they're going to do it. Just like Terrible this. Slender. There's that pulse again. Blue. There's that pulse. <laughs> so this is five. This is a... Uh, He's losing. He's. This he is a. Uh, I. I don't think he has defense reaction, so I think this is gonna just gonna hit here. Yeah. He can at most block for four. Unless he has defense reaction. Yep. And he seems hesitant, so it's kind of a giveaway that he doesn't have it. Walk three, take two, discard two cards. You get a frostbite. And a frostbite, yep. I, I, that basically means no turn. Steals deal, yeah. Yep. I want to say Odom might have. Oh. I don't think putting Tunic in front of this does anything. So. And. No. It's just going to be an arsenal pass after the Tunic. Ooh, 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 there. Okay. Didn't forget <laughs> the Tunic there. And. Now old and powerful. Unless this is a. Oh. Unless this is a. Disastrous hand. This is going to. Well, uh, that that's pretty good. That's pretty good. You know, just a casual spinal crush at the end of and the that's game. What, you know? And that's what I was thinking. I was like, I, I don't remember he pitched one. I was like, I think I've only seen two spinal crushes. And now the deck count is 11 to 18. That's uh, now the difference the, is showing. <laughs> yep. And by this time, Nathan should be drawing his Razor Reflexes back. So it's going to mm -hmm. be quite difficult for him to block efficiently. I mean, he already runs a lot of two block cards. Drop it down to one. And from here, there's no path to victory here. If this hand remotely attacks well, he's going to keep it, and the game will be over. Like, the worst possible thing is he draws a... He can only swing the Winter's Whale. Like, that's as bad as it could possibly get. But with Terra Sunder here, this game 
is about to conclude. Oh, yep. Nail crush. Good game. Hey, there's that razor. Looks like he's only running one. Hmm. GG. And with that, Old Tim takes game number two, meaning the LGS team is currently leading two to zero, which little, means... Little that they know, Nathan's already changed his deck to be post errata and post yeah. banned. Yeah, he wasn't running Plunder Run or, or Lightning Ball Lightning there. Um, already adapting for the new meta. Um, all right, Neil. Lots of pressure now on you. Oh yeah. I mean, I mean this I mean, is already lots, there's lots of pressure on the on you, Seb, and me. So, I mean, this I mean, is already like a fifty, like like not a great matchup, right? So, yep. With the new stuff, that's just. It, it, I mean, the deck was already mm -hmm. hurting, so. Mm -hmm. Interesting.